Hello and welcome. I'm Mohamed Zamanlu, master's student in electrical engineering at Memorial University. As you all know, due to spread of COVID-19, we are in a challenging situation. Our university, same as most of other universities worldwide, has decided to go online. But there is a challenge to online courses. The challenge is that in engineering, we have labs. The challenge is there. Lab is not implementable. So what can we do in this situation is to think about alternative solutions. Currently, Quanser is one of the uh, companies that is working in control systems area. In that field, Quanser has found a solution for this. And the solution is interactive labs. The solution is um, interactive labs. And here is the outline of this uh, video. First, I will explain Quanser products, a few of them. Uh, first one is the Experience Controls app, which is an application for Android and iOS systems. Then Cube Servo 2, here is the system that runs many kinds of control projects using Simulink or any kinds of other simulation software with the Cube. And the last one, which is the offer, the new offer of Quanser, Quanser Interactive Labs, which is kind of, you know, two systems together come up with a new idea that is Interactive Labs. And then I will compare lab material offered by Cube Servo 2 and offered by this new system, new platform Interactive Labs. Then I will have one conclusion. As I mentioned before, Quanser has already introduced Experience control, Controls app, which is an application for Android and iOS systems. Uh, this application is for free and is like a textbook. Here is, as you can see here, that has a background about a topic, which covers all kinds of topics in the controls system, control systems course, such as PID controller, first order systems, second order systems, etc. So there is a background information about that topic and then there is a simulator in the application that students can run um, a sample project for PID, let's say, and then change the variables of PID such as KD, KP, KI and observe their effect on the output. So these ones you can see, they are the graphs for the system and there is this simulator uh, let's say our machine that uh, PID is implemented on. This application helps to students better understand the uh, idea, the objective of the course. The other product of Qu Quanser is Cube Servo 2, which we used in con undergraduate control systems. So here is the cube and then that is connected with Simulink students can implement various types of projects, experiments using Simulink. They implement their model in the Simulink and then connect with Cube and then they run their system. So this way, very simple. And they can implement various kinds of top uh, projects with this one and study their um, projects. And the last system I, I mentioned is Quanser Interactive Labs. So this one is kind of alternative introduced by Quanser to the on-campus labs. Now students don't have access to on-campus labs, so they can use this platform, kind of learn and do lab experiments. So it covers servo motor, aerospace control and dynamics, inverted pendulum control, robotic manipulator control. So these ones are coming soon as per the Quanser website, but these two are already there and updated in the software. Um, so I went and downloaded the software and already installed on my computer. This application, this platform is available on Win Windows 10, Android, iOS and macOS. These two are coming soon, currently not available, but these two are already available. I tried them and I wanted to give an explanation on them. I downloaded the application and when we enter into the software on Windows, 
currently two topics are uh, covered iro and cube servo 2 so we used cube servo 2 before so i wanted to try that one three topics with cube servo 2 are covered in this application modeling position control and speed control for modeling when we enter the modeling here we can see a cube which is a 3d view of the cube and then here is the graph and then here is one to amplitude gain and time constant of this experiment so this application is kind of supported by uh, this one lab material here is the modeling and here it has a background information about that and the concept of this test how it works and then some more explanation on that and then lab procedure it explains what to do here it says set the amplitude slider below to one volt so we move this one to somewhere here let's say one volt and then we change this one it's changeable and this one is changeable so then run the system that runs the system and here is the output so this seems more likely um, in reality experiments as we did in the with the cube but this one is a kind of simulator right so this is one test the other one is position control it's a PD controller we can move this one to right left to change it KP value to 9 and this one to 32 as you can see the response of the system changes based on that this one is model this one is the actual mode and then the other one is the speed control if we enter a speed control here we have we can use a low pass filter or we we don't use it so integral is set to 1.74 kp let's say 2.45 and start the system so this is the output and then we let's say we stop somewhere that we can see some output here so this is the output let's say go to 19 and this one go to 1 to 2.5 so this way kind of I am zooming into the output or poor see this is the output and we can implement a cutoff frequency uh, a filter so there is no noise in this output you can see that so just uh, I wanted to you know show one of the these ones with arrow we didn't use this one in control systems one we used mostly uh, cube so just I wanted to try one sample pro project with here so these values changing that one so that shows the response of the system and then how the system works very interesting so that was a quick go through to the application to the software now I want to compare the material with the cube servo 2 in lab experiments we did so for the cube there were course mat lab material students use to kind of implement the experiment that has explanation procedure and with this new one there is also document document starts with a background information some about motivation what is the motivation behind this topic and key concepts behind this one which includes graphs and then the equations about that and how it works so the lab procedure here it explains 
um, there is a lab procedure to this system that what the students are going to do here and then one it, once it's done there is some simple questions I mean some questions related to the experiment to you know to let students to practice them and observe the results at the end there is some assessments questions so so here based on the result observation from the software students are going to answer some questions some write some explanations it says uh, show how you calculate the system's steady state gain based on the measured response or what is the voltage to speed transfer function of the system so based on these instructions these procedure explanations the student may go through the application the software open modeling and set these ones to the required ones and then run a simulation so here is the output of the simulation okay based on that one student comes back and then goes through these assessments and on the other side with bomb test modeling which we do with uh, cube servo 2 so when we come down here is the background information which is kind of related to each other same as this new offered platform and all the background information is covered here and then here is the in-lab exercise so over there we implemented this system with Simulink so we built this model with Simulink and then we run the system but in here there is no model building already implemented with new platform but other than that as you can see these are the graphs results we take from bomb test here is the like applying a filtering over here if you want so that's it uh, that's about cube modeling and the other one the other topic is cube servo 2 position control this topic is covered with this new platform and the background information is there and all kinds of explanations and then it comes to the lab procedure but before that one this one is the model of the system which is kind of implemented in the platform as we said we are not going to build this part in the lab so students are going to only exercise the whole material in the lab except building the model so that one is um, only you know the part that is removed from the lab so these are the lab procedure students are going to practice them and then it comes to here there are some questions that students are going to answer or give explanations or you know make some comments about that one and this one is the PD control with cube servo 2 in lab which uh, undergraduate students do in the lab with cube so background information all material well you know already covered here here is the P uh, PV position control same diagram you can see here we can compare these diagrams together so we take the results this model we don't build this model in this new platform so these are the results and in this new system the same results are already there and the last topic is currently is cube server 2 speed control uh, related to cube server 2 this is the third topic and it has background information key concepts covering all the materials and here is the um, diagram of the system how it's gonna work so it's a PID system kind of working with the um, to control the speed of the system right and then it comes to the filtering how filtering works then lab procedure it you know gives the students some tasks to do and then take the responses of the system and do some analysis at the end you know answer these questions or to write kind of a report to the lab procedure so this one already we did with uh, cube servo 2 in the control systems one lab in filtering topic 
this one covers you know that has some background information then it comes to here we build the system this is a system right and here is the output of the system and then if we go to here we start model increases decreases so that's how it works we stop system we close it so as we see it covers almost you know the whole uh, topic in the new platform the only thing that students are not doing is the modeling part here they are not going to design this part in the lab so that was a brief review over the new platform introduced by Quanser. as a conclusion we know that it's not a replace for cube servo 2 in case of performing various projects let's say a student wants to design a different kind of project for himself or let's say for the course so it's not implementable with this new system but in case of lab is the best solution currently for the time being working remotely and as you saw the system has, is very user friendly the platform and has uh, versions for iOS Android Mac Windows so students can work on their labs wherever they are um, however this new system needs some more updates to cover a few more topics um, this can cover like some topics that we did with cube servo 2 such as encoder uh, configuration that's not implementable here and last but not least this new platform is available free of charge until July 1st as per Quanser. Updates are coming until that time. So at the end, we hope that other companies come through and implement some kinds of remote labs for other types of courses, such as circuits in electrical engineering, let's say, or signal and systems. Thanks for watching the video. I hope it was useful for you.